Goodbye, Yusuf. Bye. Next time. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So I am so excited. It's literally three days before my flight back home and I wanted to bring you guys along. I'll be running errands today because I have to book my flight. The main thing is I have to book my flight today, my local flight to the capital because I'm in Clemson and I'm going to explain as the video goes on well, i'm going to explain as i run my errand so i hope you guys enjoy because i have a long day ahead see ya the first thing on my list was going to the hospital i didn't spend much time there then the main agenda of the day was booking my local flight to the capital city i went to this new agency that's near where i stayed but they were not as helpful so i changed and i was like i'm going to go to air algeria which is the airline i'm going to be using but that place was so so packed so i stuck to the place where i got my international flight to zambia and they told me to go back the following day i was told the flight was already full but they can confirm with me the following day in case of any changes then i went to send some items to my friend in another town and did some shopping Next on my list was shooting content at the Clemson History Art Museum. I've always wondered what was inside this building, so I decided to check it out. I'll post the videos on my TikTok because of the format that I used. If you don't follow me on TikTok, that's my name. I appreciate the love you guys are showing so far on TikTok. I bought some pies and finally went back to my room. I was really hungry, but I found olives in my meat pie. Like, who puts olives in pies? I even asked the man if it had olives or not, and he said no. Anyway, I got another type of pie. Thank God it didn't have olives. It was just cheese and mince. I already packed some of my clothes and i'm having four suitcases you guys i know like i can pack and i'm going to give you a tip if you are moving with qatar airways and you're a student sign up for student club because you're going to be entitled to one free suitcase most students don't know this so you're welcome two days to go and your girl is still excited i'm going to bring you guys along even today because i'm finally going to get my flight to the capital and i forgot to mention i already got my i already got my flight to zambia so this one is sorted normally it's just me finding a way to go to the capital because i'm very far from the capital if i use a taxi that's seven hours and i don't like stress so normally i just decided to get a plane in clemson there's nothing on the day i'm leaving so i'm forced to use the oran route i have to go to oran and get a flight and all that so yeah let's go i'm also going to be shooting content today i'm going to go somewhere to shoot content i'm also going to maybe look for a few things that i need to get in town so i hope you guys enjoy fortunately they said they managed to find space on the flight that was full i asked them to help me you guys by all means and thank god they managed to find space i did some shopping afterwards and my sister said she wanted a door so i had to go look for doors then did some toiletry shopping more shopping then i was like let me go shoot content for tiktok i went to the palace in clemson though i'm not going to post much of this video because i already have a video posted so i'll post this on my tiktok i was so hungry and i had to buy some shawarma i'm always hungry these are some of the things that i bought then in the evening i had to weigh my suitcases just to make sure they're not overweight One day left until the day of my departure. Today is Friday and I'm leaving on Sunday. So I don't know if I count right, but I don't count the day I'm leaving. So that's why I'm saying one day. I mean, only Saturday left for us to meet again. I don't know how you guys count, but that's the way I count. So today I haven't done much. I've just been cleaning the room, ensuring I have everything, especially documents. I don't want to leave anything behind, like important things. And I've also been 
yeah cleaning the room because i know if i leave it messy it's neat you can clean it up what else yeah basically that i haven't gone out today i've just been indoors and later on we're just going to order some food because my friends are like we should do something before i leave we're just going to order some food maybe pizza and just eat while chatting that's it nothing much for today <laughs> Tell me your friend is dramatic without telling me your friend is dramatic. My friend put forks for pizza. <laughs> Long story short, the driver was being complicated. He wanted me to pay for seven seats when my bags could fit on three seats plus the boot. After a long chat and begging, he accepted to put two people in the taxi. So we're three of us plus the driver. I'm finally in Orani, guys, in my friend's room. She left her keys for me to get somewhere and she's not around. But I thank God I traveled safely. Right now, I'm so hungry and thirsty. I just need something cold and also food. Also, fortunately, I carried the shoes that I wanted to wear, that I'm going to wear tomorrow if I don't check my nails. I really wanted to carry these, so I was a bit worried when I... I couldn't remember if I carried them or not. And then also, I might... I am going to town to get something because my friend gave me money to get a gift for myself. You guys, I feel loved. <laughs> she said that she couldn't find something and my birthday was like four five months ago she said she couldn't find something in clemson and i understand because it's not so easy to find like the style of clothes that we wear in clemson so she told me to search in Oran and get a gift so yeah i'll take you guys with me i think i might get a shirt or a shirt and bottoms and yeah i'll take you guys with me so yeah I was looking for a black or white loose top that I could wear when traveling, but I didn't really feel the tops that I was seeing. So I just bought some ice cream, checked other stores, and I <laughs> still couldn't find. I got this bag as a gift in the money that my friend gave me. And yeah, I continued checking for other things I could buy because I still remained with some change. Yeah, I, I, I understand the French, but I don't speak uh, French. Why? But only speak English. I didn't find the top I was looking for for my travel outfit, so I had to change the whole travel outfit. Anyway, it was night time and finally... My flight to the capital was at 08 hours, so I decided to go to the airport in Oran around 06 hours. This was my first time using Air Algerie and I've heard a lot of things about it like it delays and stuff like that so I wanted to review for myself and honestly it wasn't that bad. I met a friend like he was really nice. They gave us water, only water you guys, no snacks but yeah it was overall it wasn't that bad. The flight was for one hour and we arrived at the old airport that's where the local flights operate so we had to go to the new airport which is just some minutes away it's a walkable distance and i was just following you safe because <laughs> i was a little bit lost this was around 9 a.m and my flight was for 3 p.m i was still with Youssef, and his flight to france was at 6 p.m so he had to wait longer and we really vibed we chatted we just sat somewhere and chatted vibed to afro music it was just good vibes <laughs> he listens to the type of afro music i listen to so it was really fun it just felt like i waited for two hours or less goodbye Youssef. Goodbye. bye next time next time
when Algerians want to be nice, they can be really nice. Yusuf was so kind. I was really stunned at how smooth the day was moving because this other man said he works at the Zimbabwean embassy and he was just so nice. He just wanted to help me when checking in and all that. The irritating part though was the waiting after checking in, but it didn't take that long. So I finally went to the waiting area. This gave me airport vibes and it finally clicked. I am going home also this is my first time using qatar airlines i'm used to emirates i am used to using the dubai route and not the doha route so yeah i'm going to give my review <laughs> To start with, I had rice crackers and apple juice. For the main meal, they started serving kids first and meet Tino, the guy I sat next to on my flight to Doha. And no, we did not argue about who owns the Victoria Falls. <laughs> the food finally came for the adults and your girl ended up having two shares of the main meal because they made a mistake with my order and they didn't get back the other one. So I was really happy because at first, I was even thinking of buying food in Doha because I didn't eat anything the whole day. But because of this mistake, these are the mistakes I like. Because of this mistake, uh, I didn't need to buy food in Doha. I was shaking here because of the turbulence and it even made me a bit nauseous, but it didn't stop me from eating. The couscous wasn't doing it for me. One thing I didn't like on this specific airline is there was no Wi-Fi and there was no place to charge your phones. So my phone was draining and my power bank was actually dead. guys my phone literally blacked on me like what type of sorcery is that <laughs> we are charging our phones <laughs> we're using the same flight actually so for him to go to zimbabwe he's going to go through zambia yeah. We took some pictures at the park so we wanted to take pictures at the Qatar airport landmark that teddy bear are you even in Qatar if you haven't taken pics at that teddy bear like everyone I see okay most people I see take pictures here it was an interesting airport tour and we got to our gate on time For the main meal, they served creamy spinach, frittata, which is an Italian egg dish, and potatoes. I also enjoyed the bread. It was fresh and hot. I was so happy I got the window seat on all three flights. Finally, home sweet home. I arrived safely in Lusaka, Zambia, and I was really excited, you know, to meet my people. It was so amazing.
I really missed being surrounded by family and just the love, the joy and you know, it was just I don't know unexplainable and we're waiting for my mom because she said she was going to come before she sees me at home just to see me at the airport so we waited though my dad was like we should go to the car because we really took time taking pictures but finally my mom came and yeah went back to work then finally went home A few hours later, the driver came to pick me up to go get my new SIM card. Apparently, I'm supposed to get photos when buying a new SIM card. I'm guessing it's to prevent people from scamming. I don't know. Someone recommended Zamtel to me. I hope it's really fast. I was so happy the driver said my mom ordered pizza that we we're supposed to collect and it was debonair's pizza i really miss debonair's pizza my sister got back from school and it was all love i just didn't shoot the videos like when i saw her because i was just in the moment i went shopping for some church dresses a few days after and i'm just praying i am able to post as much content like Zambian content as possible. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.